Hi everybody, Ellen here today. I come to you guys with a new video. Obviously, since you're watching, <laughs> um, but today I'm going to talk about the six books that are tomes, meaning over 500 pages, that I want to read during the year. And um, since I have a reading goal for the year to finish 12 tomes, I felt like I don't want to have too much of a reading list to follow because. I'm really bad at those, so that's why I only chose six books instead of 12, which is my reading goal for the entire year. Um, but yeah, I'm going to talk about the books I am most certainly going to read this year because, god damn it, I'm going to get better at following my lists. But the first book is The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington, and I don't really know a lot about this book, but it's supposed to take place like 20 years after this big um, war, and this is supposed to be about Davian who suffers the consequences of a war lost before he was even born, and then he discovers that he wills the forbidden power of the augurs, and he sets into motion a chain of events that will change everything. And then he wakes up in the forest covered in blood and under wondering what the hell is going on. So, I mean, this is a really hefty book. I'm going to check how hefty because I don't even know. Um, okay, so it's not as bad as it looks. It's 693. So it definitely looks like it's more around the range of 8900, but it's not. So very thankful for that. But I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I haven't actually read anything by James Allington. But the blurb on the front says, Love the Wheel of Time, this is about to become your new favourite series. And the Wheel of Time is another series I haven't read, but it's on this list. <laughs> so this is um, The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. This is the first book in the Wheel of Time series. Um, and this is quite hefty as well, I think. 782 pages. The text is ridiculously small, so it will probably give me a headache because small text usually does um, but I mean this is a 14 book series and I had his goal to finish everything that Brandon Sanderson has ever written and he actually picked up Robert Jordan's work and actually finished the last I think it's the last three books or something so I have to get through the entire series to be able to call it quits on that goal and also read a few other books but stuff <laughs> but I've heard great things about this series the like synopsis of this book is like two sentences long and it doesn't tell me anything but we're going to read it anyways and it says the will of time turns and age come and pass what was what will be and what is may it fall under the shadow let your dragon ride again on the winds of time so i literally know nothing about this book <laughs> but i really don't know but i know that this is supposed to be a very very beloved series and i just i really need to read it because i've heard so much about it even though I obviously know nothing about it, so it makes sense. And now we have The Muse of Nightmares by Lady Taylor. This is actually the second book in the Strange Dreamer duology. Um, and look at this cover, this is so gorgeous. And I just, I love this series overall because it's so gorgeous. <laughs> um, but this is supposed to be book two. It's been out for a few months, I still haven't read it and I'm so ashamed, but I do need to reread Strange Dreamer because I don't really remember as much as I would have liked and then I would move on to this one. So it would probably take me some time. Um, but the first book we meet, Lastly Strange, and he actually has dedicated most of his life to sort of get to know as much as there is to know about this city called Weep and this city is actually lost, the original name wasn't even Weep but nobody can remember the original name of the city and it just goes by the name Weep and when the opportunity presents itself for Lazarus Strange to be able to go on this mission to the city of Weep and find out what the hell happened and why it went sort of silent and disappeared um, he jumps on that chance and shit goes down and it's so such a beautiful written book and action packed and it's kind of a little bit on the slower side when it comes to reading pace but it's so beautifully written I don't even care about that and just I need to get to book two and then we have uh, Promise of Blood by Brian McKellen, McClellan and this one is actually blurred by Brandon Sanderson so I mean sold um, but this one says just plain awesome so I hope you're right, Brandon Sanderson. Um, then it also says, The Age of Kings is dead, and I have killed it. Dun dun dun. That sounds pretty awesome. Um, so there's like no premise for this one at all, written on the book at least. So I don't really remember what it's about, but it's obviously some kind of war, I suppose. Um, but this is supposed to be book one of the Powder Mage trilogy. 
so obviously there's more books and like I said I don't know what this is about um, but I do know that I was really interested in when I read it on Goodreads so you know you'll just have to look it up yourself because I don't remember for the life of me what it's about but obviously some kind of war and obviously the Age of Kings did. And then we have The Blinding Knife by Brent Weeks. This is the second book in the Lightbringer series. I read book one in January. I really enjoyed it. Um, and this one is sort of a very magical read because the more colors you can see, the more powerful you are. I will meet this main character called Gavin. He's actually the prism, meaning that he is the most powerful of them all because he can actually see all of the colors. And um, you know, he meets this guy named Kip, and Kip has been going through some shit. Turns out he can also see, you know, different colors, not all of them, but, you know, he can see colors, and um, he, you know, gets to learn about how to control them and everything like that, and there's a shitload of stuff going on. It was really good, and I really look forward to reading book two. I have no idea how many books there are. I think there's, like, five or something like that and there's another book coming out and I think it's September of this year so better get continued. And then the last book I'm going to talk about is King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. This is supposed to follow the character Nikolai which we meet in the Grishaverse trilogy. I really love, love that series and I love everything that Leigh Bardugo has ever written honestly. Um, but I also know that Nina from Six of Crows Theology is supposed to be in this book and I love the Six of Crows Theology so freaking much and it just Put them both in the same book and it's just going to be amazing. I don't really want to know a lot about this book, but it's supposed to be some kind of war and we get to follow Nikolai and there's supposed to be this boy king and a war hero and I don't want to know, <laughs> honestly. Um, but I am planning to reread the Grisha Burst trilogy to be able to continue on with this one because I read those in the beginning of 2017. So I really want to brush up my memory of those books before going into this one. Um, but I've been looking forward to this book for so long, since 2017 when I finished Gr Grishaverse. So hopefully this one will live up to the hype. So yeah, those were all of the six books I'm definitely going to focus on this year. But like I said, my goal is to finish 12 tomes this year and so far, while recording this one in the middle of February, it's going really well. So, you know, hopefully it will continue on this way. Um, if you have read any of these books, please let me know down below what you thought about them without spoiling, of course. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me some thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button uh, down below. And yeah, I hope we see each other in the next one. Bye!